If you enjoyed my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. All right, YouTube, back again with another quick video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to give you guys an overview of the different uh, display types you have on the front screen. So we'll go ahead and start with the startup animation. Okay, first we'll start in unbridled mode, which is what I typically drive. So you might be able to see there's like this diamond pattern in the sides here. And as you step on the accelerator, those orange bars will fill up. And as you let off, they will start to decrease as your speed decreases. Okay, now we're gonna jump over to Whisper. Um, you get more of a turquoise color, where when uh, unbridled you get orange, and engage you get blue. So up on the front display here, in the corners, you get this little bit of a wave effect. I don't know how well that's coming through on the camera. Jumping over to engage. You can see the screen is a flat black, I'd call that. No special animations when you're in engage. Okay, now we're gonna change a couple things here. We're gonna turn off the lane keep. We're gonna go over to our settings and driver assistance and we're going to turn off the lane centering uh, which technically I did from the steering wheel but we're also going to turn off if I can remember where it is the pre-collision assist distance indicator so as you can see that has now changed my screen we will stay in engaged mode and start to drive. And you will see what the screen looks like in engaged. So you got your battery indicator on the bottom, your speed in the middle. Uh, that little box would be displaying uh, the road speed limit if there was a sign that we'd gone past come up here and I'll switch over to whisper okay so now we're in the whisper mode so you can see um, the battery indicators to the side and as you're driving along you get this uh, wavy kind of looks like bed sheets blowing in the wind and as you hit the accelerator starts to illuminate a little bit brighter and as you let off it starts to decrease now jumping over to unbridled so you can see the full background has that diamond uh, shapes to it and now those orange lines as you step on the accelerator protrude out from the center towards the sides. And as we're stopping, they decrease. As you can tell, I stay in dark mode. Uh, you could stay in auto, which will switch between light and dark, depending on the time of day. Uh, I'm not gonna go through each one again, but if you do switch to light, on the instrument cluster you can see the graphic is the same uh, just with a white background rather than that dark blue blackish color um, just a little bright in my face personally uh, I like the dark mode so that's the different uh, display options you have in front of you and then once you turn lane keeping back on you can see it puts the vehicle in the middle of the screen with the bars on each side so that you know that it's holding you in the line. Um, and you're back to this version of the display. Once 
once we make this turn. But if I turn that off, now it's off. Speed limit in the middle. And there you go.